Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penjan. Welcome to One Hour, One Life, which is a game with an intriguing core mechanic at its heart. And I could not turn down the opportunity to take a look at this. So what is One Hour, One Life all about? It's a multiplayer survival game set in a persistent online world. And the idea is that we play people. So everyone that's playing the game is a human being. And the idea is to build society. So the world we're in is all one world. So Everyone joins the same world and it's my server and the server I don't know when it was switched on but whenever it was switched on the first people to join would have effectively been at the very dawn of mankind they would have been cavemen effectively banging rocks together you know maybe eating berries off of bushes and I don't know using sticks for things I don't know and then as the game progresses as more and more people join the world the technology should move along. So maybe at some point, and I don't know how it works, but at some point, someone might go, ha, ah, fire, or might go, oh, the wheel, and oh, irrigation, and that kind of stuff. And they will move society along. So it's kind of a bit of an experimental game, if you like, because everyone can, you know, people can join and just do things. And the idea is that we then start progressing society onwards, upwards. So we'll get better things. Now, the only thing is, the game came out yesterday. It came out on the 8th of November onto Steam into full release. I don't know if the servers were reset then, so everything went back to, you know, ye olde caveman times, or if uh, the sort of uh, server settings were left uh, from the beta testing or some sort of testing run. So I don't really know kind of what state the world is in right now. I mean, are we still in caveman times when I join this game? Are we going to be banging rocks together? Or are we in a very sort of medieval age? We've got, you know, feudal kind of farming and, I don't know, basic metalworking and that kind of stuff, rudimentary tools. Are we going to be in the industrial era with printing presses and stuff? Are we going to be in space? I don't know. I don't know. But every single person that joins then contributes to the story of this particular world, which I just think is quite intriguing. So also... Two other things to set it aside from other games, kind of that might be a bit like that. Number one is, the clue is in the name, I suppose. It's called One Hour, One Life. You live your whole life from birth to death in one hour of real time. And that's assuming you don't do something stupid and get yourself killed before that time limit. You know, I don't know, can you drown or, I don't know, fall off a cliff or something? I don't know. So I will try not to kill us in some stupid way. Although, do you know what? I wouldn't put it past me. I've, <laughs> I've got precedent for it. But um, I'll try not to. I'll try and survive the full hour. But the big thing, the big thing that I think is very intriguing is that we're going to get born. We're going to get born into the game. And we do not pop magically into the game, however. We don't just go, ping, you have been born. No, no, no. It's not magic because born, being born needs parents. So out there right now, a player playing the game currently is going to be my mum. And they're going to give birth to me as a baby. So someone out there now... <laughs> is going to be my parent, which is a fascinating concept. They're just out there playing the game, and then I'm just going to go, da-da, hi, mum, and they have to look after me. They have to look after me, because I'll be a baby. I'll be a fairly defenceless and a useless baby. So they have to make sure I have food and water, and that I reach adulthood. And then when I'm an adult, I can then go and do the things. I can go and do the proper stuff that the game is going to allow me to do. And, you know, go and advance society and do all that kind of stuff. So I think it just sounds very fascinating. So I think, let's just get on with it, shall we? Let's just start playing some of One Hour, One Life and see how we get on. So, um, hi, Mum. Get doing whatever it is you need to do to make sure you have a baby because I'm on my way. Okay, so there was a little tutorial. So I haven't been born yet. This is showing me how to play. And do you know what? It's fairly complex. It's far more complex than I was expecting. So you've got a food meter. You've got temperature. You've got clothes to wear. You've got lots and lots of crafting options. Lots and lots of things. So I had to make a hatchet in this little tutorial area. So to get the hatchet, you have to get a stone and bang it on a big rock to make the actual little sort of flint bit. And then, oh, hungry, hungry, eat some food. It's very good, very lovely. So eat some food. And then you have to get some rope, which you get from chopping down little milkweed things. So you get that, and then you have to make some rope. And then uh, I had to get the rope onto a stick to sort of tie it together. And then, oh, I took off my dress. Um, goodness me. And then I had to uh, stick the uh, little flint stone thing together with the tied short stick to make my hatchet. And I was able to use my hatchet to chop up a bit of wood to turn it into kindling. The kindling on the fire, on the hot coals, to start an actual fire to keep me warm. And then I used a stick on fire to light the torch, which ended the tutorial. But look at it, it's gorgeous, it's all hand-drawn. All hand-drawn, everything by one person. And for the interest of clarity, I did get a key for this. 
from the developer. So thank you very much, developer person, and well done, because they have done everything. It's a one-man band. They've done the audio and the graphics and the programming and everything. So now I need to go into here. After I die, you'll be born for real, a deadly pit of rattlesnakes. Okay, let's go and stand in the deadly pit of rattlesnakes. Hey, rattlesnakes, here I am. Yeah, I think I'm being bitten at the bottom because there's an awful lot of bad stuff. Can you, can I, can I jab you some more? Can I jab you a bit more? Right, kill me, rattlesnakes. I want to be born for real. Hey, and I've been born. Hello, so Clara Love is my mother. There we go. So I've got mum. Hello, Clara Love. So, okay, so you are a real person playing right now and you have picked me up. Now, do I have a name or am I just baby? So Clara Love is my mother. Now, I cut, my name is Min. Ah, oh, Min. Hello. So I'm Min and all these people are rushing around. So let's try and assess where we are in terms of era. So there's a crossbow. There's, there's a grave. Okay, so people have been playing. People are dying. Uh, I could do with some food. Uh, oh, no, I'm drinking breast milk. Okay, that's fine. So she's just carrying me around. <laughs> it's very lovely. Wee. Okay, there's, a, there's, a, there's like a goose. Swampy bit down there. It's beautiful to look at. Look at it. It's all lovely and really hand drawn. Oh, right. There's a big kind of farming thing over there. What's that? A cistern. We've got some sort of water facility. That looks like an oven of some sort. An adobe oven. Okay, I don't know what an adobe oven is, but okay. Uh, right, so I can I can walk about. So I can go and do some stuff. So I'm just a little baby. I can just go and pick things up. So, okay, I can't pick things up. I can just wander about. Hello. Wee, where's dad? Are you dad? Galaxy Love. Oh, Galaxy Love is my first cousin. Oh, she's giving me, she's giving me trousers. I've got a nappy on. I've got... <laughs> I've got clothes. Oh, thanks, Mum. That's lovely. Oh, there's someone in there with a knife. Okay, should they be doing that? Okay, intriguing. Right, so uh, what do I do now? Do I just poodle about? I'm going to go wandering. Bye, Mum. See you later. Ooh, look at that. A gooseberry bush. Can I eat the gooseberries? Can I? No, I can't, but I can probably put them down. I'm starving. Mum. Mum, I'm starving. Clara, love, you've got, you've got another one. I'm... Oi. I'm starving to death. Could you give me some food, please, Mum? Thanks. I'm full. Thank goodness. I don't want to be dead. I've only just been born. Um, okay, so can I talk? Can I say, wah, wah? Just go, wah. Because <laughs> you can talk. So you can press enter, and then you can type things. But I don't think I can... Can I type hello? I can type hell. Uh, so I can type three letters at a time, because I'm a baby. Bab. Bab. Wee. Bab we <laughs> okay. So I can type all sorts of nonsense. Right, okay. Uh, but I still can't pick anything up. Can't pick anything up. I'm a bit hungry. Really? I've got one thing off full and I'm hungry apparently. And I'm starving. I've got four things left. You called someone else Min? You should possibly sort that out. Now we're both called Min and that's very confusing. So when you say Min, come and play, would you? This is going to be a bit baffling because you both can't be called Min. It doesn't make sense. Also, Mum, could you put some pants on, please? At least I'll put something on. You've got something on your foot as well, Mum. You've got something on your foot. Can you tell me what that is? Okay, I'm starving again. But I have picked up a little pot. So, oh, I've got hair. Hang on. I've got hair. Does that mean I'm able to look after... Ah! Oh. <laughs> I died of star- I had three bits left. Right, three years, starvation. Okay, let's get reborn again and not mess up like I did just then. Right, there's my mum. Jo- Yo- Johanna? Joanna. Okay, right, this looks like a slightly different place. This doesn't look- My name is Maria. Maria! Okay, lovely, so I'm Maria. Hello! Wee! I can walk about. Oh, I look slightly different to the other one. I look a bit different which is intriguing. So I need to make sure that I get enough food from mum, who can give me plenty of food, but then also that when I become of age, when I get hair upon my head, essentially, I can then go and feed myself. Come kids. Okay, carry me. Carry me mother, bring me this way. Oh my goodness, there's an awful lot of dead stuff over there. Okay, where are we going mum? Mum, I'm hungry. Thanks, Mum. Um, what's that? What's that? Balls of thread. Small ball of yarn. Wild gooseberry bush. So these are adobe oven bases. But there weren't anything else. There wasn't anything else. Mum. <laughs> Mom. Food. Fa. Fa. Food. Food. Fofo. Help. 
Dying. Mother, give me fat. Ah, good. Yum, 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 yum. Delicious. Right. So you up there have got hair, but I have not. So as soon as I get hair, I'm going to need to go and find something to eat. So can I... I am going west to get reeds. Okay. <laughs> this is very odd because everybody's running around doing stuff. Right. So, okay. The minute I'm, I'm, uh, I'm having milk, mummy milk, which is fine. Here, Hernan. Berry farm. Okay, lovely berry. Am I called Hernan? I wasn't called Hernan, was I? What's my name? Lombardi poplar tree. Okay, here, Hernan. Yeah, okay, this is very weird. Berry farm over here. Okay, I gotcha. I can see the berry farm. So can you put me down and I can go and eat some berries then? Or do I get down? I assume she puts me down. Yeah, look, you there. Oh, Hernan's my big brother. Hernan is my big bro, whereas I'm a little one still, because I haven't got hair yet. Wee! Right, so can I go get a berry? Uh, no, so I can't do anything with the berry at the minute. I, I can just sort of look at it. Right, oh look, and now my food meter has gone up a bit more. So does that mean that I'm soon going to get hair on my head and I have to go look after myself? Oh no, she's had another, <laughs> she's had another kid. Oh man, this is complicated. Right, okay. So I'm still wondering about, your name is Mario. So I'm Maria, so that's Mario. This is Maria. Oh my goodness. Okay, Maria, do you know how to cook? Uh, um, no. <laughs> no, I do not know how to cook. I'm, uh, oh, I'm, I can't even type. I can't even type properly. Uh, we've got a bowl of stew. That's not, oh look, right, so I'm a little person. So I've eaten some stew and my food meter has gone up. Right, okay. So we might need to go and learn how to eat, possibly. Because otherwise, I'm not going to be much good at anything. A forge with charcoal. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Mario, can you help your uncle? <laughs> oh, look at this old dude. Veronique, your great uncle. Veronique, my uncle. Okay, fine, whatever. Right, I've got a bit of hunger going on. Let, let's grab myself a berry, just a delicious berry. Yum, yum, yum. That's nice. Well, my food meter goes up each time I eat as well. So can I go to the well? Let's pick up a bucket. Partial bucket of water. If I fill that up, is that now a full bucket of water? It's still partial. Okay, what do I do with that? Three sisters stew, threshed wheat, and a stack of clay plates. Oh man, what do I do with all this stuff? Right, dry planted carrots. Right, let's take the water. Take the water to the carrots. This might be a good thing. Put water on carrots. And it's made a carrot. Okay. So can we put that there and there? No, have I got an empty bucket now? So Maria, is, Maria, which is me, let's put the bucket back down. Is it empty? Partial bucket of water, I'm hungry. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. Go that way. There's a carrot. Can I eat the carrot now? The delicious carrot. Yum, 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 yum. Splendid. Oh, oh, hello. Get off me, Veronique. <laughs> what were you doing, uncle? So what can we do? So let's all wonder about what is it. There's a lot of graves. There's, a, there's an amount of graves around. It's an old grave and a and bone piles. Oh, I'm hungry. It says, when I lose my food meter by one, it goes to hungry. Good grief. Okay, fine. Right, I've eaten some food. That looks deserty and a bit miserable. So I don't want to go that way. So I do have to keep an eye on the temperature that I've got. I want to find some clothes. At the minute, I am wandering around all own a trail. Can I find some clothes? What's that? Is that like a hat or something? That's fertile soil. Can I go and plant something? Can I get, right, can I get some water? Do this. Go to there. Empty bucket plus deep well equals full bucket. Oh, it needs to be empty, does it? Can I empty the bucket somehow? Uh, possibly should eat something, actually, shouldn't I? Right, hang on. Oh, there's berries on there. There's a berry on there. I can see a berry. Nom, 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 nom. Right, I've eaten something. Oh, hello. Mario, you're doing very well for yourself. You've got clothes. Okay, I'm hungry. There's a bit of bread just there. So if I eat the bread, can't eat bread for some reason. Uh, okay, how can I eat a raw pie crust? I can't eat that. Why can't I eat bread? Can me put that down? Why can't I eat bread? That's a bit unexpected. I thought I'd be able to eat some bread, but okay. Oh, did someone just give me some food? Oh, oh what happened to you? My little brother's dead. <laughs> My bro.
Uh, okay, what about cl clothes? How do I get clothes? I'm very bewildered. This whole game is bewildering me. Right, pick up a berry, eat a berry. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, hello, what's that? What? Why am I running off? Why am I running around like a loon? I didn't click... Okay, this is a bit weird. If I click the path, I just run to the end of the path. That's a little bit confusing, but okay, we... <laughs> I don't want to do that. Stop running around on the path. Ah, okay, right. Mario, my brother here, my little brother, has said, do I need some help? So I said, yes, please, because I'll admit, I'm a little bit bewildered as to what to do. So, tending to berries. Okay, I kind of get that. So we've got to look after the berries, because the berries is what's keeping everyone alive. So you need a bowl. Okay, uh, an un... Is that a bowl? That looks like a bowl. A bowl of water. There we go. I've got a bowl. Hello, where have you gone, bro? Oh, there you are. Hi. Oh, bro, where are you? Come back. There you go. Right, so I've got a bowl. Okay, I'm holding a bowl. Oh, okay, an empty bowl. That one. You need to move. There we go. So pick that up. So that one, ha that one has water. Okay, so what? I go to the well, pick it up. Yep, pick up dirt. Dirt? Okay, how do I pick up dirt? Okay, with bowl. Right, this is a bit weird, but okay, fine, right. And then go to where? Where are we going? So when we go down to... Come, I am, I'm on my way. This plant. This plant, no soil. What plant? Oh, they need a big blob of soil at the bottom. And grade. Grade out. Uh, okay, it's not grayed out as such. Okay, so if I click that... Ah, okay. So it turns it into that. And that's a fertile soil pile. And I could put that there. Oh, right, I see. So we can do that to the slightly dead ones. Okay, and then, uh, oh, I don't know, I'll put that there, whatever. Which one? Okay, well, yeah, I know, hang on. I've put, I've put something on the, I've got a bowl full of muck, hang on. Hang on, I know, I know where you're talking about. I've got a bowl full of stuff. How do I get rid of the stuff? I'm starving. Hang on, hang on, let me, let me put that there. Let me go have a berry. Put that down, put it down. Put the bowl down, for goodness sake. Right, eat a berry. Om nom nom and nom nom nom. Right, pick up that, go to the well, get some water, and then put water on it, uh, and there. Oh, and it turns it into not quite as rubbish a colour. Okay, so that turns it into, yep, yeah, on the well. Oh, oh, right, hang on, that well isn't a dry, oh, it's dry, we've used up that well, have we? Okay, yay, right, I've watered some plants, okay. Right, I feel as though that's a minor achievement. Oh, there you go, clothes. I want that. Give me, can I wear it? Yay, right, I'm not nude. <laughs> Hooray. Hooray, right. Thanks, I'll put thanks. Thank you. Your apron? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm wearing a very weird looking outfit now. Oh, I'm carrying that, am I? Okay, there's a grave there. A marked grave. Oh dear, that's not good. Right, um... I'm hungry. Let's just have a quick bite to eat. Quick thing to eat. Yep, yep, yep. Grab some food. Okay, that'll do. Um, that's it. Uh, thanks. Uh, okay. So what do I want to do now? You can also g get water. Okay. Form a buck from. I should that means from a bucket. Okay. And do what with it? There's some sliced bread there. Do you know what? I'll certainly take a bit of sliced bread. Thank you very much. Delicious. So, okay, yeah, there's water from a bucket, like that one. Okay, so if there's any berry bushes that are looking a bit... Na ah, right, these ones here look, look a bit tired. So if I go get myself a bowl, and then go and get some soil, and click on these... Mm, no. Why can't I click on those? I've got soil, but I can't click on those. Grey trees. Okay, right. Grey. Are any looking grey particularly? Um, I have a baby. Goodness me. How did that happen? <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, you. Uh, right. Oh, this isn't going to go well. This isn't going to go well at all. Baby. Right, hang on. Hang on. Right. Uh, where's food? Where's food? Right, baby. Here. Have food. Have, have food. Right. I'll just hold you. It's fine. I'll just pick the baby up. It's all fine. It's all good. I'll just hold the baby for a long while. It's all fine. Hello. Um, uh, you, you are uh, Bernard. You are Bernard. 
Hello, baby Bernard. Ah, I've got a baby. Oh, that's exciting. I mean, I thought there was something else happened before a baby appeared, but do you know what? That's fine. Right, pick that up. Get water put on that. Oh, no, not that. Hang on. Uh, uh, um, how do I get a... Pick that bowl up. Pick that there. Oh, I've turned into a person. Right, hang on. And then pick baby up. Pick up baby. Yay! Right, okay. Now I am starving. This could this could be detrimental to the baby's health as well. I possibly need to eat some food. Right, eat it eats. Right, baby, come here. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Bernard. <laughs> Hi, Bernard. Ah, oh, little baby. Right, so I've got a baby, but I also need to look after myself and try and keep these plants going at the same time. Right, put baby down, just there. Pick that up and water that plant. Okay. Did that help? Possibly. Right. And now pick that. Uh, pick you up again. Give you some. Give you some food. Yay, food. Right. Uh, oh, hang on. Right. Put you. Put you down. Put baby down. Eat that carrot, please. That'll be delicious. There we go. That's a bit better. Bernard is my daughter. Great. Hi, Bernard. <laughs> Bernard, my daughter. Right, you are. <laughs> okay. Possibly that didn't go quite to plan. But there we go. Never mind. Right. Pick up some fertile soil. And then go to there, and then put that down. Pick up baby, lovely. Right, now I'm starving, so I need to go and get some berries. I've had another kid! Oh my goodness me. Right, um, right, hang on. I need to eat some food, everybody. Right, pick you up. Okay, you're, you are, um, Ken. You are Ken. So Ken and, Ken and Bernard. Right, now I need to pick, uh, Bernard up. Oh my goodness, right. So, right, Ken is my son. Right, okay, this is excellent. So I've called Bernard, my daughter is Bernard. But that's fine, you know, Bernard, my daughter, that's okay. It's all fine. Um, And then, let's pick you up. Give you some food, nom nom nom. Pick you up, give you some food, nom nom nom. Do that, get water from a shallow well, a dry shallow well, or a shallow well. That doesn't seem to be working. Uh, okay, right, pick, pick baby up. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is crazy. Right. Well, yes. Hello. I need a I need a bowl. I've lost my bowls. My bowls have gone. Do that. Get water from there. Put on to say here. Uh no, because that needs dirt. Okay, right. You go to there, pick you up. Oh, you've become a little person. I've died. <laughs> I've died of starvation. Bernard! Who's gonna look after Bernard and Ken? Oh, it's a tragedy. Right, I have been reborn as Flora, and my mother has given me a woolen hat, and life seems good. Oh, and now I'm a little person. Right, I'm an actual person. I believe I can go and look after myself now, so I can go and have berries now. Yep, there we go. Right, okay. So now I can go back and do some more stuff. Here we go. So a steel mining pick, some adobe rubble. Is adobe some sort of building substance then? I wasn't aware of that. Okay, let's get myself a basket. And then into the basket, can we put berries? Right, hang on. Let's put the basket there. Get a berry and put it in the basket. Get berry, put in basket. Get berry. Let's load. Oh, I'll eat, you know, I'll eat that one. It's fine. Get berry, put in basket. Let's try and fill a basket with berries so I can take it with me if I go a wandering. Now, what can I do? So there's a flint chip. Right, let's try. How do we dig the... Uh, whoa! Whoa, there's, there's, there's a bear. There's a hungry grizzly bear. I possibly shouldn't stay near the grizzly bear. Run away from the bear. Right, hang on. Pick up a weapon. Pick up, go and attack the bear. What's that? That looks like a weapon. That's a steel adze. Let's go and attack the bear. Worry not, everybody. I am here. Flora, the destroyer of bears, is here. Right, get kick, kill. Kill bear. Kill the bear. Kill the bear. Attack the bear with the thing. Oh, no, I've been, I've been injured. I've been injured by the bear. Set, send medical attention. I'll just eat something. It's fine. Right, let me... I can't do... Oh, no. It doesn't look good for Flora. So, so, help. <laughs> help. <laughs> I've been brutally injured by a bear and I can't do anything. Uh, can't even eat for some reason. I can't eat. I'm just dying. Oh, I've been picked up. Was that a hug? Was that a hug of just goodbye? Oh, they forced some food down my throat because for some reason I can't eat food myself now. Oh, dearie me. Okay, right. I'm, I'm probably still dying. Yeah, 
I was killed by a hungry grizzly bear. Okay, well, there we go. That's another death. I mean, there's me at the start saying, I'll try to live the full hour. But no, I've made it to 17 and then four. Okay, right. <laughs> Let's give it another go. Okay, I have been reborn and now my name is Taurus. That's a good name. That is a very good name. Thank you. Thanks. Thank. Than. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. You kind of get the message. I said thank you over a number of things. So I guess because I'm only little, I can't type full sentences yet. I kind of just sort of uh, speak a little bit sort of babyish, which I guess makes sense. Right, let's try and do some of this. So we've got some fertile soil. Are there any of these yellowy trees? Yeah, there's one there. So if we put that onto there, yay. And then we try and... F oh, I'm starving. I'm starving. I should eat some food. Right, okay, okay. They could do with turning that down a little bit, couldn't they? Crikey, you're always on the ball for food. Um, we need some water from from a wet... Hungry, so I've only gone one dot down. Good grief. Right, okay, eat some more. That's fine. Right, can, can we get that from the well? Do we fill that up from there? No, okay. So I guess we need a bucket. There is a bucket. It is an empty bucket. Let us get the empty bucket and try and fill it from the well, which doesn't work either. Okay. How do we get water from here then? Because there's none of the the wells that we had in the other place. Uh, can we eat that as well? No, we can't. Oh, hang on. We can eat it now. There we go. Lovely. Right, so some lovely food. How do we get water then? Not sure how we get water per se. Let's try and get some more fertile soil. Let's try and help out where we can. Right, there's a dead looking bush there. Get some fertile soil and get that onto there. Uh, we'll put that down because we're hungry and we'll eat something. Very nice. Okay, so now fertile soil as well can go up to... Oh no, it's looking pretty good. It's looking okay around there. So yeah, we need to get some water and I'm hungry again. Uh, there's a fire. That's quite nice. Let's go and eat something. Uh, and do you know what? We might go and stand by the fire for a bit because our temperature did come down quite a lot there. So it'd be good if we could put the temperature up a little bit. Can I wear something? Uh, can I have some clothes? Has anybody got me any clothes? A uh, clay bowl. What am I holding? What am I holding? Oh, I don't know what I'm holding. I'm a bit hungry though, whatever the case. A wild squash. Can I eat that? Nom, nom, nom. No, I can't eat that. Right, I should possibly go get some berries or I'll starve to death. Right, do that and eat another one. Can I eat another one? No, okay. So how, where's water in this place? How does a well function? I don't understand the, a cooked rabbit pie. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, I'll have a backpack. Oh, I'll wear a backpack. Absolutely. Oh, an apron. Right, there's clothes. Yay, I'm no longer in the buff. Lovely. Right, okay. Okay, I feel a little bit more, sort of, uh, a little bit safer now. Right, eat some of that. So how do we go about... Ooh, hang on, what's that? I, I don't... The paths are very confusing. When you click on a path, you run to the end of the path, which is a bit weird. I don't really understand that. Uh, a steel hoe. So we can hoe the ground, I assume. So if we do it th there... do we, Is that how it works? So what do we do? Do we just hoe? Am I destroying the ground? Am I destroying stuff? Should I be doing this? I'm a bit hungry again. I should go and eat something. Right, there's a berry on that bush. Right, nom nom nom. Go and eat the berry. Okay, what do we do then? So what's the best thing for us to do right now? I've got a backpack. I've got an apron on. Um, there's some nice... What's that? Raw mutton. So can we cook mutton? I don't know. Do you know what? I? The thing about this game, I, I love the idea. I love the idea. I do find it a bit uh, overly sort of dependent on looking at your food meter. Although I guess when you're smaller, you do need more food. You need more stuff to keep you going. But look, so it says hungry. I'm on what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm eight out of 11. And apparently it's telling me I'm hungry. Now I would disagree with that. I would say if it's about half, you might say you're a bit hungry. But that's quite, you know, I had quite a lot there. I had quite a lot of food going on. Right, let's try and find something to do. Right, I've got a carrot seed head, just there, and this is a, I've just done this row thing, so do I, have I just planted carrots just there or not? Because I'm carrying both things, so I'm a bit confused now, I'm a little bit, or have I planted carrots? No, I'm still holding it in my hand, so it says here, carrot seed head plus deep tilled row, oh that's a shallow tilled row, okay, do I need to get, uh, where's, where's a hoe of some description? Some sort of uh, hoe or a shovel or something? Would that would that do the job? Is that what I need to do? Do I need to jibber-jabber that with that? Not with that one, no. 
Uh, okay, what have I just picked up there? Possibly a bit hungry and dying. Uh, hang on, what's that? A bowl of gooseberries. Eat, eat the gooseberries. Yum, yum, yum. Delicious. Right, put that, put, put it back down. Uh, not there. There. There was a hoe somewhere around. There was a hoe. Where was it? That's a steel axe. That's probably not going to be much use for the old, uh, the old farmings there. Right, let's see. Right, hoe. Enter. So it says, I can make... A shaft, a hoe is a, a sharp stone. Okay, I could probably get a sharp stone. And a tied long shaft. So is there a tied long shaft anywhere? That's a bean pod. Right, what's what's that? That is a U shaft. Is there a long shaft somewhere? Uh, let's see if we can go and find ourselves a long shaft, as it were, who are misses. So I've got the sharp stone just there, and I've got the long straight shaft. So a sharp stone and a straight branch equals a long... Right, I've got the long straight shaft, so now I need sharp stone just there and a tied long shaft. Ah, right, I need something to make rope. Right, where was the rope? Unless somebody's made rope, which would be useful. It was like milkweed or something, but I don't know where that is. Was that my baby? Did I just have a baby? Was that me? Was that mine? Uh, I don't... My first cousin. No, so I can't pick you up. Okay, fine. Um, right, where? where's like milk... Milkweed and stuff. Oh, good, my food meter's going up. Right, okay. Which I suppose does make sense. Ah, here. Right, milkweed. Uh, and then we get rid of that. And we get rid of that. And that combined, the two stalks makes thread. And then we get milkweed from there. And we put that down and we get milkweed from there and we combine that to make thread. And then we get the two threads together to make a bit of rope. Okay. And then we walk back up to wherever we were before where we were messing around with our stuff. So it's over this way. So hopefully no one's nicked my preparation stuff. Oh, they might have. They've moved me stuff. <laughs> Someone's took my branch. Right, hang on. Let's put the rope down. Okay. Okay, right. This is all going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. Right. I need a, I need a big stick again now. Can someone get me a stick? There. Long straight shaft. Right. Long straight shaft goes to that to make... No, hang on. It's the other way round, isn't it? Because you can't... You have to do it that way around. So a bit of that tied to that makes uh, a long tied shaft. That attached to, oh no, hang on a minute, is it the sharp stone attached to that, makes a hoe. And now I can go to, oh no, now I can pick it up and I can turn that into a deep tilled row. Yay, I've done a thing. I've contributed something. And then I can put carrots into the ground. I've done a thing, everyone. Right, that's it. Goodbye. <laughs> We're finished here now. So I want to get some water because I suspect that's going to need some water. So a full bucket of water right get a bucket apply that to there no uh empty bucket plus cistern equals full bucket of water but for some reason that is not working okay why not full bucket of water plus cistern equals empty bucket okay i need to get where's the well where's a well there was a well somewhere around here where was it uh, not that way. Oh, I do need some food, though. I do need some food. I will have that rabbit pie. Thank you very much. Yum, yum, yum. Um, oh, okay, fine. Um, where is... Where is that there? Right, let's put that down. That was on a plate, was it? Oh, lovely. Um, where, where's the well? I need a bucket. I need to go and try and find the well. Uh, oh, no! Oh, what just happened? The fresh grave of Abby Love, my first cousin. Abby, no! Right, I've got some water. I've got water. I'm going to water the plants. Yep, yeah, okay, good. Can I, can I do that? Bowl of water plus dry planted carrots equals wet planted carrots. Oh, I need to... I need to that needs a bowl of water. Oh, crikey. Right, hang on. So now we've got a full bucket of water. Uh, we need a bowl. Right, where's an empty bowl? Can I have an empty bowl? Has anyone got an empty bowl? How do you even make a bowl? I don't know. A bowl of quick lime. I don't want that. So now the search is on for a bit of an empty bowl. There, right, there. Grab bowl. Now, do I fill bowls up from the bucket? I suspect I do. Where's my Where's my bucket of water gone? Which one of you scoundrels has run off with me bucket of water? No, there it is. Right. So I fill it up from that, and then I put that onto there. 
And now they are wet planted carrots. Right, I've watered some carrots, everybody. That is it. My contribution is over. That's probably all I'm going to be able to do. <laughs> look at you. You've got proper, proper old. You look very old. Good beard. Very good beard, sir. Um, right, let's go and have a little wander around. What's up here? What's, what's that? What is that? A collie with puppies? Ah, oh, it's like a little sort of farm up here with animals and stuff. Oh, that's nice. What could you do with that cactus? Oh, this, okay, this is less nice. This this is a terrifying place. We, we don't want to go around there. That's a bit morbid. Let's leave there. Hello, Willow love. How are you? You've just made a compost pile. I hope you didn't make that yourself, but okay, fine. Oh, that was lovely. My mum just popped by. She just said, hey, Torrin, how's it going? So I'm just going about making some rope, just seeing what I can do. And she said, oh, yes, there's some in the basket if you need it. But look, so mum there is getting a bit older. Oh, bless her. That's that's exciting. So I'm just going to make some rope. There we go. I've made some rope. Yay. Can I put it in the basket with the rest of it? Uh, no, maybe it's not got rope in. Maybe it's got ah, it's got thread. It's got lots of thread in rather than rope. OK, well, that's fine. So look, and then the milkweed things are growing back eventually, I think. Do we need to sort of plant them again? I don't know. OK, so what I've, I've spent my life making these milkweeds. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Hopefully it helps everyone. Um, have I got a moustache? I've grown a moustache. Check out the moustache. Uh, the moustache. Moustache. Okay, fine. I mean, you know, I can't do it all, but there you go. Wow. <laughs> I also need to eat some food because I'm going to die. Right, we need to do something with all these plants around here because the, uh, the berry farm is indeed suffering. Let's go and get myself a bowl. We need to get some uh, earth. The only thing is, how do we get fertile soil? I don't, oh, can we use manure instead? Can we use that and put that on things? No. So we need fertile soil, but I don't know how to get that. Where is that? Okay, I just clicked on the path to have a wander to the edge of the path. And my goodness, it goes quite a long way. There's an awful lot of stuff. Look, like up here, there's something here. What's this? There's like a little house, a little area. And there's what that, a bear, a, a bear cave. Yeah, let's run away from the bear cave. We know what happened last time with the bear. Let's leg it back here. Um, yeah, we need to sort out our plants. We need to sort out all these plants because there's an awful lot of dead ones. But I don't know how to get a pile of fertile earth. I wonder if it tells me if I go uh, fur... Oh, hang on. Soil. What if I just type soil? Uh, none relevant. Okay. Oh, I'm hungry again. Oh, hang on. Right. Grab berries. Eat the berries. Nom, nom, nom. Just eat anything. That'll do. Um, all right. What if I type uh, fertile soil? Making fertile. So gooseberries. No. Bowl of gooseberries. No. Bowl of gooseberries. No. Gooseberry seeds. No. Not, not, no use. Ah, there. There's some soil. So we need to get ourselves a uh, no, not that. That, that. That's a plate. I think I can. That's a plate. That's fine. Oh, do you know what? I'll tidy up some plates. There we go. I've also contributed a little lonely bush just there. Let's eat that. Nom, nom, nom. Lovely. And another one. Right. So that's topped me up. Right. I need a bowl. There's a bowl. No, that's an unforged sealed crucible, apparently. This is a clay bowl. Let's go down here, grab some of that soil, and let's try and restore at least one of these dying looking plants. Uh, you. So put you there, and then can we get water out of the... No. Uh, no, we need to get a bucket. A bucket which is there. Oh, that's a partial bucket, so that's okay. So we'll have a partial bucket of water to go to there, to pick that up, to fill that up from there, to put that onto there, to make it happy again. Yay! Right, okay. So there and there, splendid. Now that bucket, empty bucket, goes there, fill up put down just there and then yeah go and sort out all these plants that don't look very well because we're going to run out of berries and then that, that's probably not a good thing that's going to be quite detrimental to us because we will then die because i all we seem to exist on is, is these berries so uh, yeah we need to do so we need to sort that out right i'm going to ask how to get fertile soil does anybody know how because i don't know how i'm not entirely sure do you know what i will stand next to the fire though well, yes, how do I make it then, you wally bot? How do I make it? Do I dig for it or something? Also, you'll notice I am getting a bit older. I've lost a bit of my hair. Oh, it takes a bit of effort. Oh, okay. Right, I wonder. Uh, okay. I think there is some south. 
Yeah, I was hoping to not have to do that southwest. Okay, fine. Yeah, let's run southwest then, see if we can find some more soil. Because all that need, all those bits up there do need quite a lot of soil. Now, is there any fertile soil? What's that? What's that? An empty clay pit. Here's some ducks. Uh, any fertile soil anywhere? That's another, are they more clay pits? Clay pit, clay pit. One of them was empty. One of them was an empty clay pit. Uh, this looks not good. What's that? Shot boar with piglet? Oh my goodness me. Ah, right. I foresee a problem here. I'm hungry and I'm possibly a bit lost. Right, I'm starving. I'm starving. Give, give me food. Give me food immediately. Right, berries. There. Give me berries. Om nom 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 nom. Give me more berries. Om nom nom. Phew. I, I just survived. Okay, right. Let's not do that again then. Yeah, so I wandered off. I couldn't find any fertile soil. I don't know if I'm supposed to dig for it. Or maybe do you go to certain places and dig for the fertile soil? I'm not entirely sure. I don't really know. I'm not sure. I'm starving again. I'm starving again. Run, run back to the thing. Run, run quicker, man. Right. Get us a berry. Get us a berry. And then eat the berry. Yay, we're still alive. Oh, look at you. You're properly well wrapped up. That looks great. I want to be in there. That looks yeah, lovely. Not yummy. That looks lovely. Oh, no, he's ran off on the path. Not that way. Not that way, Torrin, whatever you call. Don't run that way. Run. No, no. Torrin, come back this way. You are dying to death. Come back this way immediately and get yourself a... This way. Go get berries, Torrin. Go eat berries. Eat the berries. Yes, good. Right, there we go. <laughs> we survive just as he runs off. But there we go. I think you get the idea with this. Although, I'll be fair, it is fairly complicated. It will take you several goes to try and figure out exactly how to do everything. Like, I've just played now. And how many goes did I have? I had three lives, did I? Three or four goes? I think it's fairly complicated in actually working out how stuff happens. You know, it's a bit sort of... Uh, it's very open, and that's okay, that's good, that's a good thing, but you need to invest quite a bit of time in. You would need to have several lives worth in here to figure out what you're doing. So, you know, you'd need to be able to do this, you need to be able to figure out how to look after the plants, and then you need to be able to figure out how to make, say, a smelter, because we've got steel. So somebody must have invented a way to get steel and stuff. I mean, there are forge-type things up here somewhere, aren't there? There's things here... An adobe kiln and a forge. There you go. There is a forge, which would imply that you could put... So can you put charcoal in the forge? No. So bare hand and forge equals bellows. So you could bellows the forge. That's fine. But then bellows plus adobe kiln equals forge. Or bellows and adobe kiln with charcoal equals forge with charcoal so yeah some of that i don't get i, so I want to put something in there and make something in there but to me that says bare hand plus forge equals bellows and i have bellows plus adobe kiln equals forge yeah that's a little bit befuddling but yeah look the steel blades there's all sorts of cool things okay so yeah there's quite a lot to do partial track cart kit excuse me sir do you know what you are doing not a clue <laughs> not a clue. I do not. Uh, I I am bellowing. That's what I'm doing. I am bellowing. There we go. <laughs> and mighty complicated it looks too. So there we go. I'm just playing. Don't you worry. I'm, don't worry. Apparently. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, but there we go. So my guy's getting older. Torrin is, is getting older. But yeah, I think you kind of get the idea. You get the idea. We'd go on. We'd do the stuff. There's a lot of eating involved. There's a nice rug thing there. And we'd, you know, we'd eventually you'd try and make houses and stuff. Oh, I've got a, I've got a cart. Well, all right, I say a cart. It's not got any wheels. But that's quite nice. Oh, that one's got wheels. That's better. Oh, look at that. So imagine you carry around loads of stuff with that cart with all the wheels on it. Oh, that's quite nice. There you go. Someone's carrying an axe in that one. Um, so shall we, shall we see what we can do here? Let's have some berries. Have some yummy berries. Delicious, delicious. Let's see if we can go out on a high. Can we pick up the axe? Can we pick that axe up? Uh, no, I don't want that. No, put that. I don't want a plate. I want to pick up the axe. Yes. And now let's go this way. Because in here there is a bear cave. I want to annoy the bear. Can we annoy the bear, please? Is the bear around? Don't know. What on earth are they? Rabbit family holes. 
Oh, am I killing rabbits right now? I'm possibly killing rabbits. Uh, okay, Let, let's go for a wander. We can go for a wander into the wilderness and Torren can just have a little wander around. Is that another bear hole thing? Come on, bear. I'll have you. No, no bears. Bears aren't feeling brave today. Here's a bear. There's a bear. The bear's killed some other stuff, I think, by the look of it. Oh, no, it's not a bear. It's a buffalo. Attack. Attack the buffalo. Hit it. Hit it with the thing. Attack. No, you're not going to hit it with an axe. You've got an axe, man. It's a weapon. Whack it with an axe. Right. There must be people around here somewhere because there's there's materials. Now, I am hungry, so my journey might be coming to an end, but, but I may well have found where there's some other people. There was a weapon just there at one point. So I wonder if I can find another settlement. Yes, I'm starving. That's kind of the plan. I wanted him to go on a bold, knowable journey to find another settlement. I don't think we're going to be able to find anyone else. I don't think it's going to happen before I starve to death. But it was worth a go. There's a horse. I mean, can I, can I click a horse and eat the horse? I don't know. Click, kill the horse. Attack the horse. And Torren's adventure is ending at some point. Starving is happening and... Yep, any point. I'm a nice grassy bit, look. 34 years starvation. Ah, oh, but there we go. So that, that is interesting. That is interesting. It would take a lot more learning. It would take a lot more learning. And it's far more time than I, unfortunately, am able to give it right now. But that is very interesting. And, you know, you could see there was a nice little community there of people popping up saying, hey, can I help? Do you know how to do this? People telling you what to do and looking after you and uh, doing stuff for you, which I do like. I like the idea of that. And there wasn't anyone horrible on there. There wasn't idiots going, oh, I'm not going to do anything for you. I'm going to run off or, you know, nicking your stuff or being an idiot. Everyone was kind of helpful and looking after things and making sure things worked, which is a rare thing in games like this. You know, it's a multiplayer game. You normally expect a few trolls around, but no, there weren't any there. So that that is very interesting. That is very interesting. One hour, one life. An intriguing concept. Yeah, it needs, it needs a, a bit of time put into it to understand how it all works. And it gets far easier as you get into adulthood because at the start you're quite reliant on food. There's a lot that you need to do and it's a bit, right, I'm going to go and try and do that. Oh, you need food. Okay, I'll eat some food. Right, how do I build a hoe? You need food. Okay, fine. So there's a lot there. So when you get past that sort of low food bar thing, you're able to actually go around and do stuff without starving to death quite so readily, then yeah, it would take a little bit of practice. But I think that could be quite interesting indeed. That is an interesting game. And I, yeah, I'm glad I took a look at it. I think it's an interesting concept. And yeah, maybe, maybe it's worth popping back in just to have a nosy in, say, I don't know, four weeks and just seeing what's happened in four weeks time and seeing if you know, it's any better, or if everyone's still the same, if we're still eating shrubs, or if we've got, like, you know, farming machinery and stuff like that in. That would be very interesting. So, yeah, maybe I will pop back in in a bit just to see what it looks like. But, uh, yeah, we shall finish up for now. So if you did enjoy that, please do leave a like, and also please do subscribe. Keep up to date with all the other stuff that we do in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Right, everyone, give me your money. Give me all the money. The music is very sinister. I'm not sure I particularly like the music. Fire the catapult. Oh, what a shot, catapult man. Right, okay, they're knocking the wall down. They're not, the wall is coming down. Oh, God, some of them are huge. Oh, God, people are dying. Oh, it's lovely. I've got a watermelon.